Hey guys, so the last box it didn't have an expedition, but we are coming, we are doing very, very well with getting uh, cards that are actually kind of good in this set. And that's the beauty of it, is you can't really go wrong with cards in this set because you get a four art land, which I have to go back and take them all out. Obviously the four art land is gonna be very common, but I still like them. It's not about like, to me, it's not always about how expensive a card is. It's just about how much enjoyment you get. And then full art lands are definitely uh, one of the better cards that you can enjoy. Uh, we have a play set of Gideons. A place, we need one more drainer. We have oh, close to a play set. We don't have any other planeswalkers though. Huh. Oh no, we have a Ob and we have two QRs, but not... I shouldn't say that because maybe you didn't see the box openings. Cryptic and Blood Butcher, okay. This card is very good and limited, but I didn't pull it in my pre-release, but I would have liked it. I hope, and we'll do a summary of just the pre-release kits. Uh, nothing else, just the kits themselves. I think the kits are already have a ton. This... Okay, Brutal Exposin um, might be playable. It is kind of like a reman ish card. The two damage is very nice and the counter ability, so it's like, Two damage with a counter ability, but four is kind of a lot for that. Like, I don't know if I would want to play four, pay four for that ability. I think I actually would not. Uh, not in modern, at least. Lantern Scout, huh. Rally, uh, creatures gain lifelink. So, this pack, what, this pre release kit so far is not as good as the other pre release kits. I hope to pull Expedition. It's not expedition, and I've opened I've opened a ton of packs. These expeditions are just oh, Condor Rune number like eighteen. I think this card will be very good. I, it's a tutor, and it actually allows you to play out what you're tutoring. Should it be like an Ogamog or a Adrazi of some type, it seems very very good to me. I wish it was a any spell. If it was any spell, it would be broken, but it's a creature. So we have a Prisma. Oh, what is this? What the heck? What is this? Wow. Uh, converge whenever it enters the battlefield with a crystal counter on it for each color of mana spent on it. Remove a crystal counter from it, tap target creature, and five colors, scry. <laughs> This is the weirdest card. This is why Converge doesn't make any sense to me. Like, and we get a Undo Rising. Converge, I mean, it's so weird. Like, is this card gonna be playable at all? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Oh yeah, this guy is pretty least didn't go well. Okay, it's a Swamp. Ugh. And, okay, worst case, I'll just buy an Expedition. I'm okay. I'll buy one if I don't pull one. Okay, cool. We have um, five of these, so I will be able to trade. I have a feeling this one has to be good. This is, again, one of the worst kits I've seen. Endless one. Um, endless one is kind of nice. It, it's going to fit in a lot of combos, in my opinion. So I, it's not the worst foil you can get. But pre-release kit. Okay, 35 packs versus 36 packs, but you're guaranteed five foil rares or mythics. And those rares and mythics are more valuable. They're not as valuable as the regular set ones, but they are, in my opinion, long-term going to be as valuable. Currently they are not, but long-term they should be. So, let's see. Cloud Manta, we need good cards in this one. There we go. I mean, there's a blue one. The blue ones are not that common to come into, in my opinion. I get all the other colors, just not blue. I think this one is the actually the rarest of the bunch that, uh, given if you add in my booster box to the pulls. And I'll do a recap of all the cards, don't worry. Crumble to Dust is very good. And yes, another one. This is not bad, I mean, double. I, I wouldn't mind pulling Six of them in a row. I think that's okay. Uh, that's okay with me. 
and Evolving Wilds, Bone Splinter, Pilgrim's Eye, Prismum Array. This is a very weird card. Like you have to be five colors to even consider playing this card. And we have five colors, like what is it really doing for you? Like you, I mean, if it was Draw, not Scry, it, I still might not play it. <laughs> That's, oh, Defiant Blood Lord. So two good packs in the beginning. And yeah, so two good packs in the beginning and we have a full Swamp, so we'll get that out of the way. Uh, which is nice. That already kind of makes up the value of the pack. And we have a dampening. Nope. Infused with. No. Okay. <laughs> wow. I am getting extremely tired. I cannot open any more packs after this. Like, I just can't. I just have to go to sleep. I have to go to sleep and not open any more packs because that's what I'm going to do. Quarantine Field, I like this card a lot. I think it will be played. Uh, I like the options of it. And for six, it does a good job. For four, it does not a good job. For eight, it does a very good job. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, I love her. I love this card. I have a play set of her now. Just from these fat, I, I love that card. I Like I said, if I don't pull Expedition, and all I got was a play set of her. Where's my other one? Where are these cards? What is, what is going on? Where's my other one? Oh, <laughs> duh. So if I didn't get any more cards but her, I would be just so so happy. I, I think the card is very, very good. I think I do want to play four of her. And to be quite honest with you, like this is the card I'm most excited about. Obviously we'll show the foil. I'll just crack the foil. It's, one of those things that I don't care because I'm gonna. It's a beautiful card, by the way. Flying first strike. Whenever it deals the combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature you control. Will that be good in goblins? Yes. So instead of Rabble Master, I know the mana base will be a little weird. Instead of Rabble Master, I would play her. Like I think that type of deck, the ability because they're not gonna be able to block her. Let me turn. Do they have a flyer that early on? Most decks do not. But, wow, it's a beautiful card. I'm very, very happy. I'm, I mean, if there was one card I wanted to pull, it would have been her and foil. So, yeah. The Expeditions, uh, again, my friend is opening 1,200 packs, so I will film that. And out of 1,200 packs, if we don't pull an Expedition or two, we would be uh, very sad, I guess. Oh, Hedron Network, um, interesting card. Maybe Sideboard uh, Tech. Uh, sideboard Tech, Power 5 or Greater. You're talking about, I mean, if it was 4 Greater, it would be very good because then you get rid of that very annoying Rhino. But already, like, I'm pretty, I mean, I couldn't be happier with this particular. Well, this pre-release kit wasn't great, but um, overall the box, if you will, was very, very good. Blood Butcher number 18 million. 18, so you get a lot of these uh, Blood Butchers and uh, the other one, <laughs> I'll show you. I'll make a recap video later, later. I'll probably make it tomorrow. I don't want, Guardian, whoa, that's Guardian like a lot. Obviously you didn't do a good job of Guardian because Ogamog is here. Oh, we only got one Og Ogamog, uh, that's kind of weird. We are ending the, we are getting to the end of our packs and we need, yes, another one of these. So I'm always happy to see one of these, uh, mainly because, mainly because if you are mono red, this card is actually very good for you because uh, you need your double black. So people have been asking me you know, how good these cards are. I think they're very good. I think they are especially very good and a fast aggro deck. And that might not seem logical, but when you're aggro and you wanna play your Drainers or Lilies or your cards of that ca casting cost, you really need something late, later than turn, turn one and two okay to be mono red, but later turns, it's not as okay. Oh, we have a four and red. Oh my gosh, Prisoner, 
Rolling Thunder is not bad. I don't know if it's going to see standard play, but it is not bad. Prism Array, like, holy crap, how many did we get? Oh, we got every kid got one so far. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. But I cannot complain. Oh, this particular kit was not very good, but we have a foil. That's why, like, it's kind of interesting. You can always be saved by the foil. Uh, okay. We're not going to do that. It's hard for me not to. I know my subscribers don't like that, so I don't do that anymore, but that's typically what I do is I'll take a look at it and then I'll... Oh, Sucking Hollow is good. Sucking Hollow is not a common one, in my opinion. Define Black Blood Lord to go with our... Huh. And this one, and... Yeah, so... No Expedition, it looks like. I know, I have a feeling there's no Expedition just because I pulled pretty well. And normally when you have Expeditions, you don't pull that well. So Expedition is a very good card. I'm okay with not having one uh, as long as I got my playset because I will use I will use that card and that card is an absolute drainer, uh, is an absolute bomb uh, in black. I'm gonna make mono black. I feel mono black with maybe a splash of white seems to be like a playable deck, maybe. Yeah, so this is number, I definitely have multiple playsets of this one. I kept pulling it, like I just didn't stop pulling it. So I have, it's nice, I have all the land I need, like I'm set for land. Is there like, maybe the blue white one, I need one more of them. But I'll do a recap of all the pre-release kits I have opened. Oh, Define Blood Lord. They just, uh, that's kind of the weird part about these kits is when you open one of them, you're pretty much guaranteed to open like another one of them when you're talking about like uh, Blood Lords and things that are kind of not great. Uh, Coast of Discovery is pretty good. Blighted Fen. Ooh, another one. Yeah. Okay, we'll make the token deck. Uh, we'll make the token deck. Yeah, token deck seems pretty good to me. I'll make the uh, black. I'll make the Liliana Drainer Double Princess. Oh, I called deck. <laughs> Because that's exactly what my subscribers want to see. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, another painful truth. Um, I guess we could play that in the deck. I mean, I don't know if we want to play it. If we want to go another color, I guess we could go Mardu. We could go Abzin. Abzin would probably be the only card that can converge well. Herald of... Another Renewal uh, is a pretty cool card. So I'm expecting a lot. So I'm going to guarantee that these two, one of them is going to be pretty good. That's why I found out pre-release kits, you can't really be blown out of the water with pre-release kits. Uh, fat Packs, you absolutely can. Sanctum of Ugin. Wow, so we, I mean, this actually wasn't bad. It's not as bad as I expected. You got two of these lands and flip. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Last one for today, and then we'll open, we'll keep opening. Wow, no Expeditions. But that being said, I'm totally okay with it. We've opened just from kits alone. Maybe kits don't have as much chance of getting Expedition, but maybe they do. Who knows? Who knows? And let's go ahead and let's See if we get lucky here. We have six more chances at the lottery. Really, it is a lottery. There's no other way for me to say it. You are playing a lottery. Lantern Scout. Foil Nursery. Uh, whenever you cast a color spell, deals one damage target creature player. It might be playable. Okay. We've got our Gideons. We've got our Drainas. Um... This particular one is kind of more on, along the lines of what you should be getting. Uh, lots of lands, not that many. Is that another land? Yeah, it is another land, but it's a different type of land. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. So maybe if you want to make artifacts, you have the support to make artifacts. I'm not positive. This card, a lot of people don't like it and they feel like it's bad, but it has upside. Like it definitely has upside. Because you, if you view it as just one for one, a land that produces one with upside, then it becomes very good. But if you view it as 
Desolation Twin. Oh, this is a very casual card that is uh, exciting. I like it a lot. <laughs> when you make uh, two 10-10s, ten that's better than one 10-10, ten ten, right? Supposedly. And Rolling Thunder. Mars from the Tomb. Oh, and uh, of course another Guardian, Tazir. Mars from the Tomb is very good. I like it. Um, it is, I, is there enough allies? I don't know. Like. Is the ally support good enough? Maybe in the next set it will be better? I'm not positive. From the Beyond is another card I'm very interested in. It seems very, very good to me. Uh, you get to It's a token creator. So if you're going Painful Truth. So that's it. Um, no Expeditions. Oh, how many packs have we opened? 72 plus. There's, they say Expedition is about a case. Case is a hundred. Um, it's okay. We have more incoming. I it's uh, absolutely okay. I opened the cards I wanted, so I'm okay with this. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna make a summary of this video, and then we're gonna go to sleep, and then I'll make a summary of all the cards I opened. This one is my favorite. There's no question about that one being my favorite card. And a new set on. And I, it's a card that I will want to play. It's a card that I want to play. So I have no questions about uh, the... I mean, if I had to buy a whole box just to get that card, I would have. Um, it's not only that I want to play it, it's I want to also pull it. So this card, this was not bad of a, a box. I don't know if we get any more Mythics. We do have Mythics. Do we have Mythics? Um, sometimes the Mythics are hard to tell that they are Mythic. Get any mythics here? Now, nah, so we got two mythics, but one foil, and we got six land. Six land out of a box is very good. That's like a land every six packs, which honestly it should be, because you're looking at a, a, just a ton of lands. So anyway, that's it. I will probably do a recap once I wake up. Bye, guys.